another beautiful day we have some parts so just got our chain in got our chain guide in here we are going to put that on now we can see exactly where this motor is going to line up put the chain on and see where we need to mount it so let's do it
quick little check in with you guys now that we have a lot of stuff mounted let's see how it looks so far obviously work in progress uh, i still need to grind down my beautiful welds and uh, make mounts where i've used zip ties but uh, what we're going to do is get this in a working state see how everything functions make some tweaks if we need to um, and then go for there i don't want to make anything crazy permanent until everything's working smoothly so let's check it out our controller is going to go here again just temporarily wiring all this stuff up here uh, but the gas tank is going to sit over this i got to cut the inside of the gas tank uh, out and it can sit over all that wiring um, I also have a distribution block coming in and I'm going to mount the 12 volt converter up under here. So that'll be all nice and tucked up and hidden. Our mounting our motor went great. Had to make some, some special brackets. Um, my welds are, are definitely not great. This is the first time I use this particular welder. It's a very cheap welder. Uh, don't be scared of welding guys. I mean, you can pick these welders up for close to a hundred bucks. Um, and it doesn't have to be beautiful, it just has to be super strong. So lay some metal down there, get it nice and hot, and uh, you'll be in business. Now I did three mounting spots. So we got the front, the back, and this top piece. I wanna add a fourth one day, uh, but we're gonna just test this out and make sure it's all working. I gotta put the chain on. And um, I also covered up these phase wires uh, with some webbing to pr extra protection there. We've got our other mount here. So uh, now I can see why people buy a mock-up, a 3D printed mock-up of the motor. I had to take this off and put this back on, I don't know, at least 20 times. And the motor kind of got a little scratched up and stuff. So definitely see why people buy mock-up motors 3d printed even though they cost like a hundred and something dollars but so far so good our battery just passed china customs so i'm hoping it's here in a week what we'll do is uh it comes in a stainless steel box but we'll make some kind of hanger so we can hang the battery there and uh she'll be ready to go now i have a 72 volt battery from my mini bike I don't think the BMS is strong enough to power this thing at full capacity, but it might make it move. So I might connect that up and see how it works. But, uh, hey, oh, that's just what's left in the controller from when we did have it powered up. Got the cell phone mount. I also ordered a two switch uh, for the handlebar which will power our running lights with one switch. So it'll be the tail light and the low beam, and then another switch, which will activate the high beam here. I'm deciding on whether to add another light, but honestly, I don't think I'm gonna be doing a lot of night riding, and that's plenty, so. That's what we have so far, guys. Coming along. Can't wait to get that big battery. All right, let's get this chain on here and uh, maybe we'll give it a little spin. Master link in there. You always want the solid side going towards the direction it spins so that if anything hits your chain, it doesn't pop your uh, lock off of your master link. So that is installed there. We've got a chain. Look at that. Very nice. Not too much play right now, but this chain is brand new, so it will stretch um, significantly. 
especially with this torquey motor so i think we will be fine we are in business that's a good amount actually there we go all right let's tighten everything up and uh shoot i think we need to hook up the mini bike battery to this and see it spin Connect this battery up. We should have power. Oh yeah, it's 86 volts. What do you guys think? We turn the throttle. Let's do it. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Nice and smooth. Oh yeah guys. Love it. Love it. Seems like the BMS can handle it in this little battery. So I think we're gonna take a test drive. Let's do it. Here we go, maiden voyage. Power on, all systems go. What do you guys think? Let's make sure the brakes work first. Do a top speed run? No, just a test. Whoa. It works. It works. So quiet. What? Switch it? It's electric and it's quiet. Is it fun? No. Whoa. All right, this is still the small battery, so we're not going to overload it, but let's see if we go fast. That's it for now. As soon as we get the bigger battery, we'll uh, take this out on the trails. Oh man, okay, all right, well, I'm fine. But I did lose the bike. Electric has a lot of torque, as you guys know. So I was hearing something with the chain and I gave it some gas to test it and man, it shot out right from underneath me and spilled. I got some, some bumps and bruises, but nothing crazy, thankfully. Does look like we lost a brake handle speed controller came out everything else looks solid thankfully but uh this is a test to see if my wife watches my videos i had my helmet on honey there she is <laughs> no We've done some basic testing now. We drove it up and down the street a few times, took it on some hills, nothing too crazy. Uh, but let's get into this programming and see if we can't tweak some stuff. I think the throttle response is not that great. See how you can, you can move that a decent amount before it starts up. I think we can tweak that by uh, lowering the voltage start. Um, also, I want to mess around with the sport mode switch to see if we can get this thing 
to um, perform a little better. I think it's probably only running at uh, 50%. Matter of fact, we can go and see that right now. So yeah, low speed, 45%, limited at 65 amps. So we can of course get a lot more out of this uh, controller. So let's do that. All right, here we go. We have the sport mode switch connected and turned on. Now, just remember, we can't get the speed controller to take a setting. It's not writing out to it. So we're only running 65 amps uh, of a potential 100. Uh, so we're not even using, well, we're using 65% of the power, but uh, let's have to see how she rides. There we go. So I did some GPS uh, runs earlier today and it got up to about 40 miles an hour. I already purchased a bigger sprocket for the motor. Uh, it has a 15 tooth on there now. We're gonna go to 17 tooth. That should put us well in the 40 mile an hour range, maybe, uh, maybe close to 50 once we figure out uh, the flux weakening and um, getting it up to a full 100 amps. Uh, so, yeah. So there you have it y'all, a working e-motorcycle, a dirt bike conversion from a, a Apollo 125cc over to a QS120, you know, um, just this is just going to complete part two. We still got a lot left to do, but it works. It's a working prototype. So. Super happy with this build, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you wanna see the rest of this build, please subscribe, like. It'll help with that YouTube algorithm. Until next time, see you guys later.